Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. We're back again with all the new Red Dead Online changes for this week as we move into week number two of the February event. Last week, we had opportunities for a voucher that's good for 50% off a camp dog and an outfit for Crips. And this week, we have five different free items and rewards. A little later on, we're also going to touch on the Take Two Interactive Investors Conference for quarter three from Monday that happened at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. I actually have quite a bit to say on it, so I'll have a video dedicated exclusively to that call out in the coming days. But for now, I do want to go over some of the highlights because I know there's quite a few of you who usually only tune in for the weekly updates and changes here on the channel, and that's totally cool. At least here, you'll be kept up to date and in the loop with all that. And we'll also recap on the current bonuses and discounts, plus make an outfit featuring some of the free clothing this week, just to keep things a little fresh for this weekly video. So lots of different things going on, and let's get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. So getting started for this week in Red Dead Online, February 8th through the 14th, we have the new Hanover series as our featured showdown mode, and we have five free items. One of them, you can craft an item while at your campfire and you'll receive the pink camp flag for absolutely free. Number two, track down, find, and hunt any legendary animal in the open world to receive a red version of the Corn Hill hat. Number three, protect the town of Valentine from attackers and call to arms this week and reach wave three to receive a red Chuparosa poncho. Number four, play any time this week to receive five fine brandies and 10 chocolate bars. And then number five, win any featured series to receive an offer for five gold bars off the butcher's table, which is the trader role. And those are all the rewards that you can take advantage of this week. But remember, we still have all of the current bonuses and discounts. So don't forget, going right down the list for money bonuses this month, we have double money on trader sales still active. The 50% money bonus on all animal pelts sold still applies. And as well as the 50% bonus materials on all animal pelts donated to camp. We have double character XP and double roll XP on the trade route free roam event. Double money on all the free roam stranger missions, double money and double XP on the plunder showdown mode, and double money and double XP on call to arms. In terms of the discounts, we have 50% off Valentine's Day related items like corsets, top hats, ties, dresses, and all barber services, plus five gold bars off the naturalist roll and the sample kit, 70% off legendary animal pheromones, 40% off the ram horn trinket that you can buy from Gus, 75% off the varmint rifle, and 40% off the Carcano rifle that you can find at the gunsmith, 40% off all the trader roll outfits, 40% off the Missouri Foxtrotter horses, free camp changes and camp location changes this month, 40% off all boots, 40% off the Glenwood coat, 60% off the Flixton hat, and 50% off the brass spectacles from Madame Nazar. Now also linked in the description below is my money guide for this month on how you can make tons of money without much effort at all. For those new to the game or even long time players, if you're still involved with this open world, there's some pretty good bonuses out there to last you through the end of the month. Now moving on to our quick highlights from the investors call. According to Take-Two Interactive, Red Dead Redemption 2 has sold over 43 million units, and of those 43 million, 4 million of them were sold in the last quarter alone, and it's a huge jump from the around 1 million reported units sold over the last several financial quarters. Usually each quarter there's about 1 million extra units of Red Dead Redemption 2 that have been sold, and the increase of sales was due to the holiday promotions. And Take-Two Interactive growth in the last quarter were primarily driven by the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, Red Dead Redemption 2, and NBA 2K, but no mention of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Overall for Take-Two and Red Dead Online, it was an excellent quarter driven by those holiday sales like we mentioned and Red Dead Online outperformed Take-Two Interactive's expectations due to an influx of new players and those were owed to the smaller updates we've received which Take-Two mentioned failed to mention that they were small updates but of course they're talking to investors but in reality those were Quick Draw Club 4, All Hallows Call to Arms, Halloween Pass 2 and the Holiday Call to Arms modes and then of course the recent change which we've seen with the monthly in-game events compared to the previous weekly in-game events. Now onto a quick little outfit I made for this week which features the free red Cornhill hat and the free red Chuparosa poncho. This is the outfit that I wanted to showcase featuring the red Chuparosa poncho, which you can unlock for free this week. Oh, that's lovely. My dog is taking a poop right next to me. Um, but that being said, I did change the hat to a black stalker hat. So let's remake this outfit right now so you can see the other 
clothing item that you can get for free this week um, is the Cornhill hat. It's right here, and it, you need a perfect badger carcass in order to craft it, but you can actually get it for free this week, right? So if I equip it on my outfit, it really, it, it doesn't look that good with this outfit. I mean, maybe you can rock it if you want. I would typically put these trapper hats on more of like winter, woodland, or just cold weather type outfits, not on something with a Chuparosa poncho. This outfit looks great in the desert, um, but just, you know, it's something to keep us fresh this week. I did want to make this for you guys so you could, you know, just copy it if you want or change some things up. So first I use the stalker hat, the black stalker hat for the hat. Then moving on down, you could see we have the poncho. It's of course featuring the red Chuparosa poncho, which is for free this week if you complete the required things. No vest. Um, I don't like the way vests look on this outfit. I use the red and black bibbed shirt and you could see the colorway. It's like red polka dots on there. Um, and then for the gloves, I use the red riding gloves here, the bright red, not the dull kind of deserty, scratched up, worn red. We use these, the bright red. And then next up, we go to our weapon equipment. We have two things for the bounty hunter. We have the red and black Guerrero holster along with the red and black Guerrero gun belt. As you can see right here, no custom buckle. Again, this is up to you. If you want to use the Gable Charm or another charm, you're more than welcome to, but that's what it looks like without it. And then for bandoliers, again, this is also kind of optional. I was debating um, what I should do. No bandolier looks good, as well as with the Espinal red double bandoliers, but you could also try something like, you know, a Merino double bandolier, a single bandolier, or even Salizo double bandoliers. But this is what it looks like with no um, bandoliers. I know some players don't like having bandoliers on their red that online outfits. Um, moving on to the pants, we have just the standard black bandito pants here in game. And then part of probably my favorite thing about this outfit besides the red Chuparoso poncho, um, just real quick, the spurs, red Gurdon Moro spurs. But my favorite thing is honestly the boots. I really like these boots. They don't look good in, a, in too many styles, but I think with this outfit, they do look pretty good here. And it is the red and black version of the Katora boots, which you can see here in game. I really like the Katora boots in game. There's two other outfits I've made featuring the white and then also the blue and beige. But I think when you use the black and red or the red and black here with this outfit, it honestly looks pretty cool in my opinion. And with all that said, that's all the time we have for today. And we're going to wrap things up right there. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best read that online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below that being said Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.